Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Crystal O and today I'm going to be talking about the truth about life after graduation and the things y'all that I did not expect were going to happen to me. So just a quick background, I graduated with my master's degree about seven months ago. Y'all, time literally flies, like how, where, what? I went to a nationally ranked master's program in a school and I'm thinking like it's all gonna be popping, right? But we will soon find out <laughs> the truth about life after graduation and the things that I did not expect. All right, so a truth about life after graduation that I did not expect personally was just kind of reality setting in. So of course in grad school, you're on a go, 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 go mindset. You always have something to do, something that needs to be done. So your mind is always going at like a thousand, right? But when you graduate, it's kind of like you're at home and you're back into the reality of daily living, like waking up and you know, having to be functional or just having to have something to do to fill your time um, during the time that you'd be at school. So I think getting back into a normal flow of living was really hard for me. Um, one, because of course there's Netflix and I would just be like literally a couch potato watching Netflix multiple episodes like binge watching stuff eating and just like sitting there being so unproductive and I think at first it started off as a like I'm done with grad school and then as I started to apply for jobs it just kind of became like a self-pity like woe is me kind of thing where I would just sit on the couch and watch Netflix all day and feel bad for myself so that wasn't a good thing either so I think just Finding your regular flow of life and living is a little harder after grad school because you were so locked into a pattern of living while you were in grad school. So that's one thing that I did not expect. The second thing that I did not expect, y'all, <laughs> I'm gonna woe in there with it, right? Just throw up the disappointment and woe it in, right? Um, was being unemployed for six to seven months. When I tell you that I would have never fathomed the being unemployed for that long without choice or choosing it, I would be a lie. Because initially I was like, I'm gonna rest a little bit, I don't want a job very quickly, I need a break, you know, all that good stuff. And then as the semester started to pick back up, I was like, okay, hold on. I have applied for some jobs, but I didn't get those, which were very heartbreaking. I'll go back to that. But I did not get those initial jobs, so I was like, it's okay. I'll just keep waiting, and I'll just keep doing what I need to do, and I'll keep applying for jobs, and that's what I intended on doing. So we went from one job saying, sorry, we regret to inform you that we will not be giving you this job, to two jobs saying, sorry, we regret to inform you to three jobs, to four jobs, to five jobs, to six jobs, to seven jobs. Y'all, I received at least eight to 10 rejection like letters or emails and probably like 12 if you add like the other three or four in there, um, just no response at all. So it was a very heartbreaking process for me. It was a very, very harsh and distressing process for me. I did not realize how much unemployment would impact me psychologically, emotionally, uh, mentally, um, spiritually, hello, just like feeling very, very lost and without purpose. And it was really, really hard for me. Someone like me that is personality type three, if you know anything about the Enneagram, um, we are overachievers, we are strivers, we are performers. So in my head, the natural order of things would be graduate from grad school, get a good job, and just have that status of I did what I was supposed to do, I accomplished it in the amount of time that I was supposed to. This is the natural conventional order of things, right? So that's initially how I took that um, big L, big loss in my life, and it really, really took me to a very low place. I would wake up with um, just really, really hard um, heaviness of my disappointments, remembering all the rejection letters, remembering all of the we regret to inform you, or just no response at all, and just feeling not good enough. I felt so inadequate, and I'm sitting here like, fam, I have a whole master's degree, like, and clearly it means nothing to no one. And to me, it kind of felt like if everyone doesn't want me, clearly there's something wrong with me. Like, I'm the problem here, right? So that was just kind of the lie that I began to believe that I was the problem and that something was wrong with me. So I did not expect this happening to me post-graduation. I did not even foresee this, 
but I think that when it comes to post-graduation life, there's so much uncertainty, right? You may not land that job. You may not get that opportunity. You may not be able to do things that you wanted to do. And I think that for someone that may be going into post-grad life, it is so important to take on the lens of uncertainty and just being open to what God may have for you. I think that in the season where I was unemployed, because I am now employed, I will share later more about that, but in the season that I wasn't employed, y'all, I felt like God was stripping away everything that I felt gave me value, everything that I wanted to give me value, and he was, in a sense, urging me to fully face him and face his goodness and dig deeper into discovering my value in him alone not in what I do not in how I am but in who I am in him and for me that was a major because I see myself as okay being only loved for what I do not for who I am and I think God was trying to rewire my brain and say hey sis you are so valuable. You are loved by me. You are loved by me and that is enough. No job, no relationship, no person, no thing can give you that, right? So to me, it was a huge awakening of, okay, God, I know how you work in my life. Like when God wants to get my attention, he closes the doors. Like that's just how I've noticed God to get my attention very quickly. Like what? Excuse me? What happened? Who's door are we closing? Why are we closing these doors? So I typically know how God gets my attention. So when he was closing all these doors of employment, it really forced me to turn to him and say, God, like what is going on? Like I followed your prompting of going to this grad school and doing all these things. I did everything right and like this is happening and really God just brought me to this place of like fully seeing him in the light of a good, good father and a God who does things intentionally and not to harm us, but to refine and grow us. And I had to literally sit in that. So when I eventually came to um, applying for the job that I have now, it was simply just part-time. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm kind of on YouTube or whatever, but I make YouTube videos. So eventually I got off my butt and I stopped pitying myself um, for not having a job and feeling like I was doing anything good in the world and I started making videos again. I got back on this platform and I grew really quickly I would say in a short amount of time which is pretty amazing. So I think that God's faithfulness still showed itself on this platform. I was able to put more energy towards you know making content for you all and I really do think that God has YouTube as a part of you know what he wants me to do. So I'm never going to just drop it unless he's like okay sis that book is closed but I really do think that investing your time into something that God is calling you to brainstorming and thinking okay like what am I good at what do I have other what other passions do I have that don't include having a full-time job right now if, the, if those doors are closing and are not open I'm not just going to sit here and sulk I'm going to get off my butt and I'm going to look at what I have that's tangible how can I serve others how can I love others how can I help on others how can I invest in others how can I volunteer and that's what I was ultimately doing to get my mind off of being so unemployed and that's what I was doing to kind of fill myself up with just you know the ability to serve others and forget about myself in that um so I think that I had to get so lost in serving others and also chasing, you know, the passion that God has given me through YouTube to kind of, you know, fill that gap for where I felt I need a job or to fill the time for where I'm thinking I need a job, I need a job, I need a job, right? So I think that for someone who is graduating soon, I would just say, sis, bro, embrace uncertainty. We don't always know what's going to happen next, but we can trust that we serve a God who is always 10, 100, 1,000, a million steps ahead of us. He knows all, and truly there is a refining that is going to take place, or that might not take place in their process. Some people graduate from grad school and land a job the next day. That just wasn't my story, and I really had to go through the hardship of crying, going through these like really sad spells of almost feeling like, you know, borderline like depression or just kind of deep, 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 deep sadness that I was feeling. Um, very teary eyed, crying like oh, almost all the time, very frustrated, very irritated, but God literally had to continue like leading me down this path and um, it was really, really hard. I won't lie, it was very hard and I don't think anyone prepares you 
for this part of post-graduation. I don't think anyone really shares the hardship of this part of post-graduation. So um, I want to be someone who can just relay that message to you for as someone who was technically unemployed for seven months because I just landed my full-time job now. But um, yeah, it was rough. The process was definitely worth it. It definitely was refining. It definitely did allow me to put more energy towards my craft, which was YouTube content creation. And I have grown um, just in my level of skill, in my level of creativity on this platform. So that space gave me time to have time to do these things, right? So take advantage of it. I know it can be frustrating, but truly, truly, maximize this time, maximize this opportunity because one day it really won't be here anymore. And I'm a living testimony of how really God makes things come full circle, like literally makes things come full circle. And by the grace of God, even with this full-time job, I can still do YouTube like part-time or as a hobby or on the side because I do love to do it. And I have landed a job that pays well, that is literally in line with the degree that I got, that is what I actually love to do. So in my last video with my life update and what I'm doing with my life, I mentioned that I had a part-time job, but that part-time job has since become a full-time job. So your girl has kind of sort of been promoted, but um, I'm working full-time now as a counselor that's providing therapy for children and families. So it's going pretty great. I love my job and it's just like, God literally made everything come full circle. Like, aha, like, I actually like this job. I actually like the people I work with. I actually like my income, you know? So it's like, God really set me up well. Like at the end of the day, he set me up well and I really didn't have any reason not to trust him, which is so crazy, but he did it y'all. And I believe that if he did it for me, he can and probably will, more than likely will do it for you. So ultimately what it ended up taking of me was to see God through the lens of faithfulness and not to see God through the lens of my circumstances because honestly in that light it was really hard for me to really trust God and to believe that he really did have good things for me and his plans for me were good right but it kept I kept having to go back to the word of God. I kept having to be spoken true to. I kept having to be vulnerable, trusted people and letting them into this place and this pain of like, I don't feel worthy. I feel like completely like nothing, you know? And just kind of having them to remind me like, you know, your value is not tied to a job, sis. Like your value will never be tied to anything other ultimately than Jesus. And no other thing will have that much weight will give you that much value than Jesus. So honestly, the wait was worth it. I will be completely honest. The wait was worth it in getting this job and getting to where I am now. But did I expect all the hardship and the burdens and the woes and all the feelings of disappointment and letting people down, myself down, my parents down? Like, did I expect to feel that way? No, absolutely not. Did I expect to feel helpless? Like. I cannot support myself financially in this season. I cannot do anything in this season. No, I did not expect to feel that way. So I feel like these are really hard truths and just realities of, you know, post-graduation life and possibly even feelings of like anxiety around it or just like confusion around it. But y'all, all I can say is like continue to press into Jesus and his purposes for you. Continue to press into the person of God. And like I said, get busy. Don't sit around waiting on people to call you back or a job to call you back in for an interview. Get busy serving people. Get busy being involved in Christian godly community. Get busy writing a freaking book. Get busy doing things that God has placed on your heart that aren't a full-time job or an eight to five kind of position, okay? So don't waste your time. I hope this video has encouraged you in some way or the other. Literally, literally, I get your heart. I get where you might be because I literally was there for such a long period of time. So don't think I'm just here to brush away your problems or dismiss them. I'm here to tell you that I hear you, I feel you, and I empathize with the hardships that you're currently facing, 
post-grad or maybe you know yet to face post-grad so um, yeah I really hope this video has encouraged you if you enjoyed it make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you share it with someone who is about to graduate or you know share it just for people who are possibly about to graduate from college high school I mean this could really apply in any scenario like doctor program grad school program share 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 with anyone that would find this video helpful and let me know if it was helpful for you that's watching this right now now, make sure you comment below with some feedback subscribe if you are not already subscribed and a part of the C squad and I will see you guys in my next video bye